What's up everybody, it's Rob, and I'm really excited because this is the fourth episode of Pokemon Black, and uh, I'm, to be honest, I was a little bit worried because I was expecting there to be like a handful of, of opportunities to catch Pokemon before the first gym. Turns out there's only two uh, or three opportunities to catch Pokemon and one free gifted Pokemon. So going into the first gym with only three was a little nerve-wracking, but last time we successfully defeated the gym leader no deaths yet two psychic pokemon one combuskin and we're ready to go today today we need to go into the dream yard where we already talked to the professor she gave us cut i taught it to combuskin i know why would you do that i had to i'm sorry <laughs> i'm sorry it's combuskin i know it's a wasted slot but we got to do it um i like i said previously i don't really know what's going on in this game I just have like fleeting memories of the game, so if this is a rival battle, I really don't know. I guess we'll find out. Hi, Rob. Are you looking for the mysterious Pokemon 2? Mm -hmm. I am, because hopefully it's a static encounter, because all static encounters count. That's the way I do Nuzlocks. Boom. I'm not sure if I got Pokeballs to do this. <laughs> hey, do you hear a sound coming from the other side of that wall? Let's go. Let's let's uh, let's check our, our balls out first. Uh, I have okay. I thought it was I literally had one Pokeball. I have six. I have money. I'm gonna go. Uh, well, I have the opportunity. Before I forget, I'm actually gonna go get some more. Because we might, especially if there is a static encounter, we might actually have the opportunity to catch more than one. Pokemon, like I said, I don't really know. Got a couple Great Balls. I don't think we're going to use them this early, but who knows? Um, and a Potion, because once I said... Like I said, I always just waste all my money, because there's no point of carrying it around. There's no point. It's not doing any... I can't take it with me when my Pokemon die. Oh, I thought Bianca was going to be gone. It'd be funny if she was like, oh, That tree grew back! In like, five minutes! It was incredible! <laughs> Hey, it's a static encounter. Hell yeah. Please be static. Please don't run away. Oh, God. Oh, wait. <gasps> Team Rock -a Galactic uh, Magma uh, Aqua Marine. We found you, Muna. Come on, make some dream mist. What I say to my girlfriend every night. Come on. <laughs> Okay, uh, huh? Who are you? What are you doing? Are you talking to us? We're Team Plasma. Did I say Galactic? Is that Gen 4? My battle day and night to liberate Pokemon from foolish humans. What are we doing? The Pokemon Muna and Musharna emit a mysterious vapor called Dream Mist, which shows people's dreams. Pretty cool. It's like that movie Inception, but much easier to follow. <laughs> it makes a lot more sense. You're kicking a Pokemon and make it give off Dream Mist? We're just watching it like, wow, they just kicked that shit out of that Muna. We should, uh, we should probably step in. I'm assuming that's what we're going to do. So I'm just going to fast forward to the battle. Team Plasma. <laughs> so funny. Whoa, he looks medieval AF. Cathedra? That's not good. I have two Psychic Pokemon. Uh-oh. It is only level 10, though, so I'm going to go and give it a gust and see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't use crunch. <laughs> Gothita's just like... <laughs> Fake tears, that's fine. Because we outspeed. And Gothita's dead. No fear here. That's actually like a Pokemon I would kind of expect Team Rocket to have. Maybe if it was a girl... Uh, Team Plasma member, I always, I'm going to say Rocket a million times. If it was a girl Team Plasma member, I think Gathita makes a lot of sense. It's kind of evil. Or you're not taking them, them seriously because you're kids? Well, whatever, I'm next. This is a girl. Speaking of the female. Team Plasma. <laughs> so funny. Caterpie. Wow. She's like, I'm going to take you down. And then when the Pokeball comes out, it's like this huge light and this giant looming presence, like, Rah! and then the light disappears and it's just a Caterpie. 
And you're like, oh, cool. I have a flying type. Whoosh. Blows the Caterpie off into the distance. Later! <laughs> Alright, cool. Gyroglyph's going to be pretty useful because um, flying coverage is hella useful. In any game at any point in time, flying coverage is a bomb. I can't believe we lost. But we did obtain some Dream Mist. <laughs> ah, ah, give me the Dream Mist! Just got Muna in a headlock, like, give it to me! <laughs> oh, hey, if it isn't, um, totally not N, what are you two doing goofing off? We Team Plasma shall separate Pokemon from foolish people. You cannot fulfill your duties. This isn't... Get us when he's get when he's gathering followers, or get us when he's when he's trying to control people by tricking them with speeches. Yeah, this is get us when a plan has failed and he's about to issue punishment. I don't understand. There's multiple get high. There's several get highs. Oh damn, it's Masharna. Char. Okay, get us can teleport. Cool. Masharna's here. Anybody want to lob a ball at it? Give me one of these, perhaps. <laughs> no. I can't wait, so I came over. Is that Masharna? That's that's such a good point, actually. She's a professor. She lives in the town next to the dream yard. She's like, can you go find the magic Pokemon? I'm so busy right now. <clears throat> Did something happen? Yeah. Did you not see Team Plasma just sprint past you? Crying with a dead Caterpie in her arms? And whatever Gafita is? Yo, give me that Pokeball. What are you doing? Is this Dream Mist? <laughs> That reminds me of all the memes. Is this Dream Mist? Uh, with this, I complete my research. The two come to my house later, okay? Okay. Whew, how random was that? All I know is that I need an encounter, and you guys are making me wait way too long. Dream Yard Encounter, here we go! And it is Charizard! Whoa! Whoa! Uh-oh. Oh, it's only level 8. That's good. Because, quite frankly... I have no idea how I'm gonna not kill it and also it and also have it not kill me. <laughs> Please don't know anything good, Rampardos. Lear's a little scary, but I'm, I'm gonna take a wild swing here and bet that we're gonna hypnotize him. I was right. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Rampardos is asleep. Um, sleep doubles catch rate. Let's check. Let's go with the tester. Excuse me, a tester ball. You know what? We got great balls. We might as well use them. Shh. Tester great ball. Go. Just to see what it can happen. It could happen. It could happen. It happened. We got a dino. <laughs> Not a dino. A dinosaur. If two were to smash their heads together, their foot thick skulls would keep them from fainting. I thought they were going to say, like, the world would explode. <laughs> I'm going to call him, uh... Chrome... Chrome Dome. <laughs> I'm going to call him Chrome Dome. That was an insult when I was a kid. <laughs> so we might as well keep that going. It's the Everstone, as if we would ever want to use that. Um, there are items up top, and I would like to get there. But the question is, how doth I do that? What else could we have gotten? We could have gotten... Clefairy. And I'm very glad we got Rampardos instead of Clefairy. Clefairy is pretty useful. Um, but I don't think Fairy's been invented yet. I don't think, in Gen 5. Um, which means it has a worse typing. And no stab moves. Well, no good stab moves, except I suppose Hyper Voice. Um, but Clefable's not, not bad, but Rampardos is a giant dinosaur. Does Muscle Band boost attack EV gains? Because if it does, I'm about to effing freak out. Slightly boost the power of physical moves! That's going right to Chrome Dome, baby. <laughs> He's got only physical moves. It's perfect. Well, that's awesome. Is there another item over here? Oh, damn, we racking them up. It's Magnet. I don't have anybody that can use that. Can I get over there? No. Okay. Well, I suppose we can continue our journey. This is annoying. 
<laughs> Why did they just make that another cut tree? You had to cut to get in here. Why didn't they just make it another cut tree? Whoops. God dang it. Alright, so... I, I know that she said that we have to go back to the lab to talk to her, but like, do we have to? It's another Rampardos! Oh, I, I didn't check what ability ours has. Did, did ours have Mold Breaker? This Pokemon breaks the mold. It has Mold Breaker. Moves can be used regardless of abilities. That's dope, so that gets rid of Levitate. Hell yeah, I think. Hell yeah. It has Defense Boosting and Speed Reduction. Mmm. That's not great. Because... You... That's the kind of the flaw with Rampardos, is that he's so slanted towards attack that he can't wear attacks defensively, and he also can't really outspeed. So I suppose if he's not going to outspeed, we might as well have a little bit better defense. But most of the time, the issues come from special attacks, not physical attacks. He's not usually getting beat up by physical attacks, I suppose, if it's fighting. But why would I have him out there against a fighting type? Um, I guess we have to go talk to the professor. Uh, I'm not sure if we actually have to, but just in case she gives us an item, we'll go back to her lab. Back to the lab again. And then we'll go west of here and hopefully get another encounter. Is this not the right building? Oh, it is. There's a lot more people that time. Ta-da! Thanks, dude. I got some dream mist. Now I can collect save files of various trainers. Wait, what? As a token of my appreciation, I'll give you the sea gear to use. It's a device that you need Wi-Fi for that I definitely have. Because I'm playing this definitely, totally on my Nintendo... Uh, no. I don't want to turn it on at all. I don't... I'm never going to use the Seeger! Why do they make a new handheld watch in every game? I'd like to check it out. You can press here and it makes it go boop. And then you can see hidden items. Bet you like that. Maybe you want to dig underground or something for some fossils. Yeah, that's fun. Ooh, a notebook and a freaking Apple Watch. There's living monsters <laughs> all around the world. And you're delaying my time with effing Apple products. Okay, we are full healed, I think. Ah, uh, Rampardos is asleep. I suppose I should wake him up. Oh. Did he wake up, or did I heal and forget? <laughs> did I heal and forget? Eh, whatever. Rampart is in front so we can catch up with the rest of the team. We'll go over here, uh, search for some items, and hopefully get another encounter right quick so that this episode can be full of encounters. Oh my god, it's a lucky egg. How lucky. Ha, huh. see what I did there? I might actually sell that because that's kind of cheesy. Yeah. I'm not going to use the lucky egg because that's kind of cheesy. I might use it if I'm... Uh, if I'm training off screen, and I like really, really, really need it to go fast, I might use it. But other than that, other than time saving, I'm not going to use it. Because that's not really fair. How do I get over there? Wow, it's a shiny gym badge. Getting the badge prove you have skill enough to handle whatever comes next. Thanks, random gatekeeper. Whatever comes next is round three, which includes the daycare as well as, I believe, some grass. What, what an awesome sign. Route 3. Okay, I guess it was necessary to have Route 3 there. What do we got? Pokemon Daycare. Kid, maybe he gives me some. Sometimes they let us play with the Pokemon. I don't want your dingy hands all over my Pokemon. Pokemon battling is very popular at this daycare. If you go around the playground, people are going to battle you. That's fine. Your Pokemon, they don't seem to be healthy. Let, me, let them rest here a bit. Oh, that's nice. I don't have to walk back. It's a nice little thing that they put in. Because there's a bunch of trainers here, if I remember correctly. So it's actually nice of them to do that. Oh, that's a trainer, not just a lady standing around. I feel invincible because I'm surrounded by the smiles of children and Pokemon. <laughs> Go! Children's smiles. Super effective. Hello, mice. Cool. That's terrible. Although bug against rock ground or just pure rock. Let's see how much headbutt does. Elmise use tackle. Wow, that still did six damage. God dang, Chrome Dome, you stink. What? 
As long as he doesn't die here, he gets a KO. Chromodome is going to be one of the most fun Pokemon to use for the next five minutes because he dies so easily. <laughs> There's a good chance I'm going to be like, oh, Rimpose would be perfect right here. And then he'll get outsped and I'll use Water Gun and he'll die. Damn! Not if he's growing that fast, though. His attack goes up by four and HP by three, so that's nice. What else? Spiritomb. Well, you literally can't hit him, so let's go to... Uh... Ravenclaw. It's pure ghost, right? So that means I should be able to just ember it, and if I sent a psychic type out, I have the risk of actual ghost moves. Or Spirit Tomb Ghost Psychic? I know Spirit Tomb has a very unique only weak to one thing typing. Or maybe weak to nothing? I know it's a good defensive typing. Confuse Ray. Oh, just to make my day slightly harder. Hmm, Spirit Tomb looks awful like a Ghastly with just slightly more colors in this section. I don't know if I really agree with that design. Faint Attack. Yeah, that would have done a ton of damage to either one of my Psychics, but we fine. Please hit. Damn. Spite. That's also fine because we're about to heal after this. The question is, let's try one more Ember. Come on with the confusion. Oh my god. Faint attack does like six. Okay. Oh, I wasted my orange berry. That kind of sucks. Well, let's go for it. Shadow sneak. That got a little scary because I. The only reason. Um, Fan attack wasn't doing a ton was because it was dark type, so I thought Shadow Sneak might be more, but it's a weaker move. So it didn't do that much more, and I didn't hurt myself with confusion. So that was an unnecessary risk, but still, it's fine. Hopefully we'll learn Double Kick soon, because <laughs> I could use some additional fighting coverage. Let's go talk to the nice daycare lady. Hey, nice daycare lady. Ugh. Oh. Right, I gotta go to the gym right after this. I gotta stay hydrated. Okay, we're not doing any double battles because F that. Is this kid a trainer? Yes, he is. We need the levels, baby. Take this hyper beam. He just hands you the TM for hyper beam. You're like, nice kid. Real champ. <laughs> Got Combi. Man, people are really coming out with the hard hitters early in this game. I think I should be okay with my giant prehistoric dinosaur versus your B. Especially if it uses... The power of smell. <laughs> just twinkling through the sky. Rampart is just like... <laughs> Blast him into the next century. Gust uh, is a special move. It'll do a bit, but not fully enough. Wow. I thought it would do more than that, but... To each his own. I suppose when you're made out of rock, a little bit of wind isn't a big deal. Chrome Dome. Good work. This is one of my favorite parts about this game. They let you go on the slide, but they don't make it an actual slide. <laughs> I find that hilarious. Okay, uh, well, mandatory double battle. That sucks. Let's not F around. Make sure Gyroglyph and Ravenclaw are in front, because otherwise... We could be in some big trouble. Rampardos is not the type of person that can take two hits back to back. What do we got, girls? Miltank and Horsey. Miltank is going to be a bear. But Horsey should be fine. <laughs> Miltank's going to be a bear. Or perhaps a bull. Let's gust Horsey and cut Horsey. And maybe we can just get him out of there and make this a two-on-one. Horsey has hella low special defense. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's kind of what I expected. As long as Miltank doesn't roll out or some other... Oh, that was a crit. I thought that was just regular. I was like, oh, he's so strong. <laughs> okay, let's Psy Wave him, see how much it does. And we can uh, Ember. Maybe we'll get a burn. See, Double Kick would be so useful right here. Not that much. 
Thump is better than tackle, but it probably won't crit. <laughs> that was a little close, uh, a little too close for comfort, though. Let's. Um, I'm going to side wave again, and we can swamp on over to Chrome Dome because Miltank only knows normal moves. So despite the fact that he hits had, if he punches a prehistoric rock dinosaur, it shouldn't do too much. Right, right. Mold Breaker. Who would have thought Sigalith would be like the MVP of my team? Pretty much won the gym. Pretty much wins every battle. Oh my god. See, that was a crit too. What are the odds? Hopefully the side wave KOs. And I was trying not to use any potions, but I suppose we can just do that. What are the odds that Miltank crits two out of three attacks with no high crit move or anything else? No additives. And got roids. He's a pure athlete. All right, Miltank goes down. Great. Gyroglyph goes up. So I did check, and the next gym is level 18. Uh, a level 18 Pokemon and a level 20 Pokemon. Um, I am not going to learn Whirlwind. Actually, I am going to learn Whirlwind because Miracle Eye is, makes no sense. Why would I want to have my Pokemon out there against a Dark type? Whirlwind is niche, but there is supposedly, um, I guess there's one or two positions where I might need to switch somebody out, I guess. Not likely, but hey. Maybe I'll, I could switch out, um, take a hit, make the Pokemon switch out, and then like buff myself with somebody else. I don't know. We'll see. But the next gym leader, like I was saying, is level 18 and level 20. Um, I find that kind of interesting because it's only two Pokemon. It doesn't, doesn't seem like a lot. Although I guess Misty in Generation 1 is only two Pokemon as well. This doesn't feel like a lot for some reason. But we have a little bit of headroom. We have four levels for uh, Gyroglyph and then a bunch of levels for everybody else that we can grow. But more important... Oh, I was going to say we have an encounter. But we don't because freaking Charon's here. We both have a trio bash. Let's see which one of us is stronger. Oh my god, if I lose this Nuzlocke right here, I'm going to be pissed. Oh, the good news is that Gyroglyph resists confusion from, um, wait, what Pokemon does he have? Oh, no, I forget what he has. Well, the good news is that Gyroglyph resists routes, but I forget what his ringer is. Is it Nuzleaf? Or is that the other girl? It's been a full 24 hours since I recorded. I forget everything. Oh, Growl is fine. I'm a special attacker. Why does he only- he had two Pokemon when we got through Route 1. He hasn't caught anybody else. I got given a- I got gifted a Pokemon, man. I caught a dinosaur. What have you been up to? Just sitting around? Noctowl. I thought- was Ralts his starter? And he let off with that? That's what it must have been. It must have been Ralts as his starter. And he led off with that. Uh, if Chrome Dude knew a rock move, I'd send him out there. But otherwise, we're fine. Let's, uh... We should be able to gust our way through here. Noctowl is a special defender, but... Yeah. No, oh, Hypnosis is kind of annoying. The problem is, is that... Rampardos could physically beat this bad boy down. But... The problem is... Is if it uses like confusion or something, it'll do a lot of damage. So we gotta stick with Gyroglyph, or I guess our pig, but our pig wouldn't be able to really do damage back to Noctowl. Come on. There we go. If, although, if Noctowl only knows Peck, that's pretty funny. That might actually be the case. It might just know Growl and Peck. <laughs> oh god, does it not know a coverage move? Just growling. Okay, cool. One more turn and we're out. Yes. Yes. All right. Well, this episode, we successfully beat up on Team Plasma. We Wow. Gyroglyph gained a whole level for a crappy Pokemon.
So that's how you battle. Out of the way! Oh my god, more text. More plasma! Oh, I guess we're going west next time. <laughs> Alright, cool. It's, Bianca found a child? Hey! Where are those people headed? Uh-huh. Oh, seriously, they run so fast. Oh, they stole her Pokemon. What a shame. What a shame! Wow. You have two dead Pokemon, man. You might want to wait up. <laughs> I'm going to slam the old save button here. Um, and then... Uh, next time we'll have our encounter. So, I was going to do our encounter today, but it's been a good 25 minutes, and we did a rival battle, got a, got a Rampardo, fought Team Plasma. We've done a lot. So, we'll save the encounter for next episode, and I will see you there for episode 5. Uh, bye bye